In this tutorial, we'll learn the basics of creating a dynamic document using the drag and drop method. This means taking a plain Word document or a PDF or another form of document and creating an interactive document like this, where a signer can enter information into fields like these. So let's start by going through the normal steps to create a transaction. And in this example, I'm going to have two signers. I'm going to add a name for the document upload a sample Word document, and make sure that I check this box here so that I can add fields to my document. Then I click Next. So now my sample document is loaded into the drag and drop authoring environment, and this is where I can start adding fields to my document. So I want each signer to be able to complete information specific to them in each of these areas. So this is where I'll be adding the form fields. These are all the form fields that are available to me up here. And this is the Select Participant drop-down, which is a critical element when there are multiple signers for a document like this one. So if I click this drop-down arrow, you'll see that both of my signers are listed. And depending on which signer I've chosen here, the fields that I add to the document will be specifically associated with that signer. So let's start by selecting Thurmond. And now I can add all the fields that I want him to complete. So first I'm going to add the date field. And I can find that here on the Signer Info Fields tab. I just click it and drag it. I also want to add a title field. So I just click on that field and drag it into place. The Signature field is here on the Signature Fields tab. And for the Signer Name, I grab this field from the Signer Info Fields tab. Initials are back here. So I just click that and drag it into place. So now I want to add fields for my second signer. To do this, I come back here to select participant and using this drop down, change the participant to the second signer vary. And you can see that the fields associated with my first signer are now grayed out. So I'm going to start adding fields for vary. First, I need an email. I also need a company field. I also want her signature, so I click and drag that field and also her name. So now my document is ready to send. I click Send, and the document is sent out for signature. So I'm going to take a look at how these fields will work when the signer receives and opens the document. And we're going to start off with the first signer, Thurmond. So I'm just going to bring up a copy of the document when it was in the drag and drop authoring environment so we can compare how the fields have transferred over. The date field automatically populates with today's date. The title can be completed by entering text. The signature is completed by clicking and typing. And then the name field automatically populates when the signature is completed. And initials can be completed by clicking and typing as well. Now let's take a look at the second participant's information and see how these fields work when the document is received and opened. The email field automatically populates with the signer's email address. The company and signature fields can both be completed by the signer by clicking and typing. And again, the name field automatically populates based on the signer's name. So here's a quick tip. As we've seen, some fields complete automatically and can't be edited by the signer, like the email field here. You'll be able to identify these fields because they are given the color white. If a field can be completed or edited by the signer, then it will be identified by the color blue. So that's it for this tutorial. In the next video, we'll learn about the very versatile text field, as well as some tips on aligning your fields and how to make fields mandatory.